If you want to see how I created these beautiful coffin nails that are medium length out of my TX Elite extra long square tips, keep watching. How are you? I hope you're all really well. As you can hear, I filmed yesterday and <sighs> I have not had an allergic reaction. I will show you why. But first, I want to show you these. The TX Elite tips are now available in boxes. They are boxes of 500 Elite Triple XL square tips, which you can adapt. I will show you how to. They are £12 for 500. I'm going to use Easter Bonnet Glitter from Smiley's. I'm going to use this pink opalescent film from Lucente. I'm using lots of stuff. I'm using Valentino's yellow colour Lily from the Flower Pastel collection. I'm using Glam and Glitz Kayla. I've had that for donkey's years. I'm also using Valentino Butterlicious as my core nude powder. And I'm going to be using Lucente's base coat and builder gel. Now, these are the TX Elite tips. As you can see, they're very long, they're square, they've got a deep C curve, but they are very, very flexible. I'm going to, because I've got an allergy to cyanoacrylate, which is a chemical within adhesive, I have, thanks to you guys, been given some ideas. So I was testing out how can I apply a tip without using glue. So here's what I did. I scratched up the surface of the tip just underneath where I'm going to apply it to my nail. I took some Lucente base coat and applied that to my prepped thumb. All my nails have been prepped, by the way. I did, did that off camera. If you do have any problem with lifting and you want help with your nail prep, I do have a short course, which is very good value for money. It's available on my website and the link will be in the description box and you can get 5% off with my code, which will be in the description box. I've cured my thumb. I'm now taking the builder gel from Lucente and putting a small amount under the tip where you would apply the adhesive. Now, the trick here is to get your lamp on and ready. Get that tip in place, push it down, get it under the lamp. And then I let it cure for 30 seconds. And then what I did was an extra 30 just to be careful, just to be like sure. And it's fine. Banging. Now with the Lucente lamp, the bottom comes off, which you use for like pedicures and stuff. My lamp is so battered now, but um, it's a great lamp because you can just, you don't need to have that lip at the bottom. You can take it off, which is great. So I've applied all the tips and now I'm going to show you how I've taken them from a long square into a, like a mid length coffin. It's very easy. You guys have asked me, can I adapt these tips if I want a different shape? Yes, you can. They're fully flexible. So Trim them to your desired length. Then take your stalk scissors and you want to just angle them so that you're taking off a bit more at the tip and a bit less towards the where the nail adheres. Here you go, you can see it better this way. So it's kind of like angled. So you want to take it off at that angle. What that is doing is it's removing the excess from the tip that you don't need. Then give them a pinch and you'll see the shape change and then take a file and just even out those sides make sure they're nice and straight it's very simple and boom you've got coffin nails very very simple don't over trim it your best bet is to under trim it and then just file off a little bit more so i did that with all the nails and then let's apply our base acrylic on this thumb so I'm going in with my base bead because this is going to be a full glitter nail. Hulky dolky. Now let's take some of this Easter bonnet glitter from Smiley's, which was the complete inspiration for this set. And that's what I love. I said to you, I missed having all these glitters because they inspire me. Well, that glitter just inspired this whole set. And I am so in love. I actually woke up this morning and went ee when I saw my nails. So as you can see, I'm picking up small beads of acrylic, tiny, tiny beads of acrylic, dipping it in the glitter and then just placing the glitter where I want it. And I do that for the first layer, especially around the cuticle area, so that it's nice and neat and it's easy to cap. 
the great thing about this is there's all different shapes and sizes so you can nudge them into place and it's just such a stunning finish it's absolutely gorgeous someone said to me it reminds them of rhubarb and custard sweets as well and i could totally get that vibe but they're just beautiful easter colors aren't they little bunnies pink ears i can see it all i can see it all so i just keep doing this down the nail now i'm going to keep the very tip slightly clear once you get here, you can kind of work with bigger beads. The trick is, don't take on more, you, more than you can handle. So if you're getting used to it, use a finer glitter or use smaller beads. Just don't put yourself under pressure to like whack tons on. Don't, then there's no need for that. I'm just adding a little bit of acrylic there because I'm gonna go in and apply a little bit more glitter. And what I don't want is to compromise the strength of the nail. So you need that, that acrylic base and then you need plenty of like clear beads in and between and around just to make sure that you have your strength. Otherwise, if you just build a nail out of glitter, it's gonna break. So there we go, we'll let that dry. And look at that. And then once it's kind of set down and the glitter's no longer moving, I'm gonna cap it using clear acrylic. The clear acrylic I'm using is Nail Mate. Obviously, you know, if this was on a person, I wouldn't mix systems, but it's on me, so I don't care. There's no issue with mixing these systems. They all work really well. Um, but obviously on a client, it's different. You could have a breakdown, potentially a breakdown of service, and potentially it could void your insurance if there was an issue. So from that kind of perspective, that's why you're always advised to use a, co use a cohesive system so say your monomer doesn't match your powder, if there was an issue with a client, uh, it's very rare, but if there was an issue with a client and they wanted you to claim on your insurance, your insurance would be void. But, you know, I'm my own client, so. So look at that cuticle bead, tucking that in with the tip of my brush, so using the tip to tuck, tip to tuck, and then starting to use the middle of that brush to move that bead down the nail. Very easy. Again, if you struggle with application and you're just trying to find your feet with it all, I do have mini courses on this and they're, they're bite-sized chunks of information. They're really, really useful. I'm gonna apply that apex bead now. The apex needs to be in the back third of the nail. Again, if it's something you struggle with, just look up my website. The tip application and shaping course covers apex placement, adjusting your tips to different shapes, how to apply your product and break the nail down into sections. So it's very useful. So that nail's capped, look at that, beautiful. We'll let that dry. Because I've adapted the tips, I don't need to over pinch them. They've already been pinched enough. So now we're going on to start this color block nail. Now this takes a long time, be patient. I'm applying Valentino Butterlicious and I'm just nudging it into place roughly where I want it. And I'm going to use a toothpick. Well, you know the toothpicks with the kind of string on them? I'm going to use that to cut a couple of these because it was quite handy to have. You don't have to. I mean, I, I do a lot of colour blocks just using my brush, but I just thought I'd give it a go. So this, this colour block nails take long. They take a long time, so your best bet is to jump from nail to nail. So as soon as I feel like this is starting to set up a little bit, that's when I do the cutting. You don't cut when it's too sloppy, because it will just be a mess. So give it a couple of minutes, wait for it to start to mat. There you go. I bloody missed some of it, I got it out of shot. I was really annoyed with myself. So I use that to cut it, I wait for it to fully set, and then file with, um, I use a steel file, just because I prefer them. And the reason I'm filing is just to kind of make sure that is an even, smooth color block. And then once that's done, I'll remove the dust, go in with my next color, which is Lily from Valentino. This is epic. Their pastel flower flower pastel collection is epic. They don't marble, they don't, they're just lush. I don't even know if you can get them in the UK anymore. So it's quite difficult to do this 
under the camera so I keep moving like positions um, but basically you want to work with your bead at a medium consistency not too dry not too wet you want to be able to keep nudging it around without it smooshing everywhere and just work on it bit by bit section by section and then once it's kind of semi where I want it I'll allow it to start setting the thing with colour block nails is it's very easy for them to get wide and out of shape. So you need to keep an eye on the shape, the lines that you're creating. Then once it's getting to that nice matte part, I'm going to use that tool. Just a toothpick. Look at that. It's so easy. It doesn't work on all angles, especially on a difficult colour block like this is a little bit more tricky. When you get further down, you'll see what I mean. But it worked well on what I was doing at the top. Um, so I was quite happy with it and I still file it into shape while I'm waiting for that nail to set up I'm going to get on to the next nail which is going to be another glitter ombre nail same as the thumb so I've applied my clear base that gives the nail that stick and that strength and then just the same as the thumb I'm going to come in with the glitter and build it up in section by section. So I'll, I'll let you watch this little bit. But yes, 100% um, applying the tips with uh, a soak off. You want a soak off gel, not a file off, because if you try and soak the nails off, they won't release. So applying the tips with a soak off gel works and I am not suffering. I mean, I'm I'm nasally, but that's because it's hay fever season, but I'm not suffering. And the difference is I feel very, very ill after using adhesive. And I don't feel ill, I feel good, yay! Right, so that nail's done. It'll need capping in a minute, but we're gonna go on to the next nail and do a full nail of Butterlicious from Valentino. So a full nude nail because this nail is gonna be blessed with the bling. Oh my God, there's a new one, guys. Blessed with the bling. Oh, I need t-shirts. I need t-shirts. I'm somewhere in the middle. Try to find myself again. Life is one big riddle of the future and what's been. Cause it's the way it goes, and I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night, like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong, I know it's good if I'm alone, I got it. So back to the color block and filing in that yellow there. Filey, filey, filey. Remember to push against the color block, not down on the tip because you'll create damage on the tip and you could snap it. You probably wouldn't snap these because they're strong, but if it was a sculpted base, you might snap it. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file over the top as well because I need to be able to see the width of what I've created. So there we go. That's all been filed. In with the next colour. Now I'm going in with Kayla from Glam and Glitz. Now this did separate a bit. So I had to kind of roll it in on itself. I've got two pinks. They're very similar. One separates, 
one doesn't from Glam and Glitz and I didn't know which one was which and I picked up this one but to be fair you can't see any separation now it's all set up so it's fine remember it's okay to go over the line with a colour block because you'll file it back so this is just going to be straight across I'll bead it back blend it blah, 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 blah. blend it back a little bit because we'll file that off anyway and we'll let that set in the meantime, let's get this pink opalescent foil from Lucente. It's not foil, it's the paper. It's stunning. So I'm laying my clear base down on the pinky and we'll let that set because I need a rough base underneath. Go back, cap this now. Do you see how I'm working back and forwards? But that's, what you, that's how you save time, basically, especially in a salon situation always doing something don't be sat doing nothing so if one nail is a color block work on another nail come back go back to the other one come back go back to the other one and work like that you will save time if you do stu if I used to do one nail at a time it could take me six hours for a set of nails on myself I haven't got time for that too busy packing your parcels <laughs> right so that one's gonna be capped now we're going to the pinky and I'm going to apply Lucente's base coat to that acrylic because the acrylic's a bit scuffed up, you see. So it gives the base coat something to stick to. Lucente's base coat is thick. It's really thick. It's great for evening out uneven nail surfaces. And I have the discount code and it does work and it's gonna be in the description box. So I'm gonna press that film, the Lucente pink opalescent film, I'm going to press it using my crystal tool into the base gel. Really simple. Press it in. See? And then once I've got all the little pieces in, I'm going to cure it for, I think I cured it for 60 seconds. It's a 30 second cure. No, it was 30 seconds I cured it for. Sometimes if I feel like I'm blocking out some of the light by covering the gel, I will cure for longer just to give it time to penetrate in and around. But if you slightly roll your hand left to right, generally the light will go in and around. So cure that quickly. Then I'm going in with the Easter bonnet glitter from Smiley's out of focus because I'm a pro dude did you not know um, and then I'm going to blend that down slightly into the so we're doing like a a triple ombre we're ombre in well it's no it's more like a double ombre I'm ombre in the glitter into the film and then I'm ombre nude into the glitter but first we're going to go back to the index finger and do the next section. So now I'm going to do a chunk of pink coming down the nail. Sorry if you can hear the buses outside. I live on a main road. So I'm going to join that to the first one and bring it down. And the reason I do this in smaller sections rather than one long bit is because, God, can you imagine how hard it would be to try and colour block an upside down L? Just not going to happen. So I'd rather do it in sections and you can't tell once it's uh, finished. Now this is more tricky because there are areas that I just simply cannot cut out and cannot get to with a file. So the bottom bit's fine, but the side bit you, you can't get to with a file properly and you can't get to with the toothpick tool. So it has, you have to rely on your brush. So steady hand, slowly, slowly catchy monkey. Okay, next. Back to that pinky. We're gonna ombre Valentino Butterlicious down into that glitter, making sure we don't completely cover the glitter because we want to ombre nude to glitter, glitter to film. It's a very pretty nail. I like it a lot. But I have the tiniest pinky nails. Bear in mind, I'm only using a size 10 brush. I've got Diddy nails. So when you look at the tips, my thumb is a size four, my pinky is a size nine and the size nine tip is too big. That's how small my nails are. I hate it. I have child nail beds with fat hands. 
Right, now we need to cap. We want to protect the blend. I don't really need to build an apex, I just need to protect the art underneath. So capping in clear acrylic. Middle to move, remember. Middle of the brush moves the bead. There we are. You'll also be glad to know that my fully accredited beginners hard gel training for extensions will be available on Beaudemy within the next 48 hours. Accredited by ABT and ABT Online. So I'm very excited about that. I've been working super hard on that. It's an amazing platform. You can do all your assessments and assignments and quizzes on there, everything. It's all digital. It's all bloody marvellous. So I'll put Budemy's link in as well because the Crystal course is on there. And bit by bit, all my other courses will be on there as well. Okay, back to the index finger, filing in the bottom of that pink section. Now I probably, I think I tried to get the file in on the side and realised that ain't going to happen, look. It's just not going to happen, honey. So, on with the yellow. So, get a bead of lily, it's called, and build up the next section. It does start to get a bit tricky. You've got to really file and clean up in between, otherwise you'll lose track of what's going where. That's what I find anyway, personally for me. My brain can't see it unless my eyes see it. Some people have this amazing way of like visualizing. I can't do that. I need to see it with my eyeballs. So I can use the tool to cut the bottom. Slice of cheese, anybody? <laughs> and then I'm building the next section. Once that section dried, I'm building the next section underneath. It's just patience. Gotta have a little patience. Trying not to break out into Gary Barlow singing. Uh, and then into the last section of the colour block, which is barely in shot, I apologise. There you go. Just whacking it on. The last bit's the easiest. Just stick it in the gap. It's going to take a lot of filing, but it's done. It's filed. So now we need to cap because obviously I still need to make sure I've got an apex and structure and it wasn't quite perfect. So in with my clear acrylic, build up that structure and then I'll file them all into place and then you know, you know we need to bring on the bling. What was it I said earlier? I can't remember. There was another one I used earlier that I really liked and I've forgotten what it is. Never mind. Oh, can't wait to show you the sparkly nail. Right, I'm, I'm 10 steps ahead of myself, just dreaming of bling. Okay, it's time for the bling now. <laughs> okay, these two are Swarovski crystals that I have in my old collection. I can't get hold of them anymore, I don't think. And I'm also using my Alina Spring Opal Mix. There's loads missing out that pot, packet, by the way, loads of shapes. And also my Alina Crystal Moonlight, which are stunning. So this is the Spring Opal Mix, or what I've got left in my pack. A lot of the bigger shapes I've already used, so they're not in there. And the Crystal Moonlights, stunning. Okay, so I am confident in my own brand of crystals, so I actually put them in sets with Swarovski because they stand up against them. I'm not worried about the quality being any different. They stand up against them, you will see. And that's why I'm so bloody happy, because I was panicking before when I didn't have this brand. I thought, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm applying some thick gel, it's like an art gel. This particular one was sent to me by a company called Wonder Woozy. But I've never really heard anything from them since, so I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to apply a pointy back here. That's a pink opal. And a pointy back there, which is a yellow opal. And then I'll cure that to get those two sealed into place. Because if you cover too much of it, you might not cure the base of the cluster. 
Once they're cured, I'm going to get some more gel. I find it easier to put it on a dotting tool, although this stuff is sticky, super sticky. I'm going to hook a bit more of it in there, in that little gap. Kind of hook it in, let it catch around the edges of the existing crystals. It won't go anywhere. And then I'm going to take another of the yellow, pop it in there, and then I'm going to add one of my Alina Crystal Moonlight. Crystal Moonlight looks clear, but then when it moves, it's got blues, purples, sort of like the Northern Lights, I guess. There we are. Right, I'm so sorry. My camera cut out and I didn't know, but this is the mixture of Alina Pink, Op uh, Alina Opals, Alina Crystal Moonlight and the Swarovski is at the top. We need to top coat because I'm having a nervous breakdown here. <sighs> I'm using Madame Glam's Tack Free Top Coat. Please help me. Can't believe my camera cut out when I was applying the crystals. That's like my favorite bit. So sad. <laughs> I'm gonna do underneath here because um, there is a slight clear tip. So yeah. Onto the index finger. I nearly put some bling on that, but I just wanted the color block to speak for yourself. Does it remind you of rhubarb and custard sweets? What are your favorite sweets? Let me know. Maybe we should do some sweetie inspired nails. Mmm, sweets. My daughter's lactose intolerant, so she wants like loads of pick and mix sweet stuff for Easter. <laughs> yes, don't blame her. Okay, on to the next finger. I've already top coated around the crystals and stuff. Um, because that's fiddly. So I've already done that. I'm so sad that my ca camera cut out. I'm so cross. But as you can see, my like the Alina brand stand up and work perfectly alongside Shrosky. There's no, I'm not compromising quality at all. I refuse to. But they're a lot cheaper. <laughs> so you can get a bargain with those. A absolute bargain. Right, let's do the reveal video and be done. Be done! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, check out my website, and I will see you in my next one. Tally bye!